So once you've added in all of those tasks into your project plan, it should look something like this. And as I said, I haven't really changed a great deal of the detail on any of these tasks. I've simply assigned them a team. I've set whether it's a mandatory task and I've also set the location. So you can see we have everything running all the way through to the last task, which is the wedding day task. Now, notice at the bottom, I have a task that's called untitled, and that's just one that I've accidentally added by pressing return after adding the wedding day task. So if you want to delete a task that you don't need, this is a very simple case of selecting the task and we can select any task by clicking on the task number. We can then right click and from the contextual menu, we have delete task. Or alternatively, we can click on the three dots and we have delete tasks from there. Also note some of the other options that we have in here. So we can do things like cut, copy and paste tasks. If I want to insert another task, I can choose to insert a task above, which is going to give me another untitled task. I can copy links to tasks and I can also complete tasks. And something else that we're going to be taking a look at in this lesson is we can make certain tasks subtasks. Now, before we get on to that, let's just delete out these two untitled tasks at the bottom. So in order to select multiple tasks, you can select the first one, hold down control and select the second one. And if you want to select a block, you can use the shift key, hold that down to select a block. Now, I just want to select this one, hold down control, select the next one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete out these two unwanted tasks. So let's now talk about adding a bit of structure by creating summary and subtasks. Now, creating summary and subtasks really does make our project plan a lot easier to read. It might be that we want to group or break up our tasks into different phases or different sections to add a bit of structure to our project. Because currently at the moment, we simply have a big long list of tasks and we have 33 of them currently just in a big long list with no formatting and no structure. Now let's refer back to the spreadsheet that we were looking at earlier. Now, when I asked you to add in these tasks, I told you to leave out all of the ones that we have in bold and in capital letters. And that's because we're going to add those in now. Now you don't have to do this, but I do highly recommend it because it's going to make organizing your tasks and overall project a lot simpler. So let's start with the first one here. I just have a task at the top called wedding plan. Now this isn't really a task. There's no action to be carried out on it. It's just something that I like to have at the top because it's an easy way of seeing the entire duration of my project. So let me show you what I mean. Let's add this task in. So again, right at the bottom, we have add new task. Now remember by default, it's going to add this in at the bottom. But I'm just going to type in in capital letters wedding plan and press the tab key. Now I'm not going to complete any other field for this particular task. But what I am going to do is I'm going to move this task to the top of the list. Now, if you want to move tasks around, this is where we use this little icon of dots just here. Notice as I hover my mouse over it, I get a little hand icon, which means I can click, pick up the task and drag and drop it wherever I feel. So I'm going to drag it all the way to the top of this list and I'm going to drop it right up here above task one. And you can see the project will reorder that numbering. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the rest of the items in bold in this list. So I'm going to add in preparation, attire, select and order wedding dress, guests, reception venue, so on and so forth. And I'm going to drag them to the relevant area in the project plan. Now I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to do it in exactly the same way that I added in the wedding plan. So join me back here in a couple of moments once I've done that. So now I've added in all of those summary tasks and moved them into the correct positions within the project plan. But they still don't really stand out very much. And currently these are still all individual tasks. We don't have any tasks that are subtasks of other tasks. Now where we have wedding plan at the top, this is something I like to add in, which gives me an overview of the entire task list. So effectively, what I want to do here is I want to make wedding plan, what we call a summary task, a top level task. 
And every other task in this project plan is going to be a subtask of that. So in order to do this, we need to select every task in this project plan apart from wedding plan and make it a subtask. So to do that, I'm going to click on task number two by clicking on the task number. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the last task, which is wedding day, hold down shift and select task number 45. Then I'm going to hover my mouse over any of these tasks until I get the three dots. Let's click and choose make subtask. Now, what you might have noticed there is that these tasks have indented very slightly. And if we scroll all the way back up to the top of the project plan, you can now see that wedding plan is showing in bold with this little collapsible and expandable arrow. So this means that I can click on this arrow and it's going to collapse up my entire project plan. And the reason why I like to have this here is because when we start adding in durations for these other tasks, it's going to reflect in this top level summary task so I can see exactly the duration of the entire project because it will be the duration of every single task in the plan. Now let's go through and create more summary and sub tasks. Now here I have preparation, attire and select and order wedding dress. And in my spreadsheet, I have these as effectively summary tasks of each other. So I'm going to select task number seven, hold down control and select task number eight. And I'm going to make those a subtask of select and order wedding dress. I'm then going to select task number six and I'm going to make that a subtask of attire. And you guessed it, I'm going to select task number five and I'm going to make that a subtask of preparation. So now I can collapse up these different sections and really hone in on exactly what I'm interested in. So we're adding structure into our project. Now don't forget that we can also change the size of these columns simply by dragging this out and in. So if you're struggling to see your task names, you might want to resize those. Let's go through and the next summary task that we have here is guests. So I'm going to select the task below. That's these four. This time I'm going to hold down shift to select the block and we're going to make those subtasks of guests. Just to note that if you want to undo what you just did, you can also promote the subtask as well. Let's select task 19 to 21 by holding down shift. We're going to make those subtasks and we're going to go through and do the same for each of these headings. Let's make these subtasks of catering. We then have uh, two tasks related to flowers. We're going to make those a subtask. We then have our tasks related to photography for the wedding. We have our details, the finer details of our wedding. So we want to select all of these, make them a subtask, and then the final couple of items here, the wedding venue. And then finally, we have honeymoon. Like so. So now you can see how these summary and subtasks add a bit of structure to our project plan. And if you want to hone in on specific tasks, we have the collapsible and expandable menus, which allow us to focus just on what we're interested in. The final thing to note here is the start and end dates. Notice that those haven't changed. They're still showing as the 2nd of January, 2023. And that is because throughout all of these changes that we've made, we still haven't added durations to our tasks. And that's exactly what we're going to start doing in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.